In my clinic, we understand risk for heart attack typically using four different sets of information. One is questions that can ask you about yourself, whether you smoke or things like that. The second is things I can measure in the blood, like cholesterol. The third is tests I can do, like a heart CAT scan, for example, imaging tests. And the last is your genome, looking at your DNA. Over the last 10 years, we've worked hard to figure out what portions of your DNA sequence actually confer a risk for heart attack. And we knew all along that there are certain mutations in genes that confer a very large effect, but that only explained a small portion of people who had heart attack, particularly at a young age. And now, the polygenic scores really fill out the remaining missing information in terms of risk from earlier. And this polygenic risk information really captures a bunch of people that we missed earlier in terms of their genetic risk of heart attack. So now, I think we can really truly integrate the genome to the risk factors, to the blood test, and to the imaging test to come up with a person's complete picture of risk of heart attack before they go on to have the problem.